Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at storage for Google Cloud Platform. So we got Cloud Storage, Persistent Disk, and File Store. Uh, there is um, Cloud Storage for Firebase. That's not going to show up on your exam, but let's dive into these three uh, really quickly about their uh, architecture and why they would be used in certain circumstances. So for Persistent Disk, the idea here is that it's using blocks as a means of storage. So it has a virtual disk and it stores things just like it would on a regular disk. Uh, the idea here is that you have direct access to the operating system uh, and it supports only a single write volume. All right, we'll talk about the use cases at the end of going through these three architectures. Uh, then we have file store, which is a, um, a file share. So the file is stored with the data and metadata. We have multiple connections via the network share, supports multiple reads, but uh, for uh, uh, writes, they're gonna get locked when someone's writing, okay? Then you have uh, cloud storage, which is for object or blob storage. Uh, so data is stored as objects. So there's metadata, unique ID. It scales with limited, uh, with uh, next to no upper limit in terms of the storage. It supports multiple reads and writes, uh, so there are no locks in place. So what would you use these things for? Well, the first one, the idea is that you would, if you had a virtual machine and you need a, a volume, you could attach a block storage. This is just basically a virtual hard drive. So you could have a VM with multiple uh, block storage uh, or virtual hard disks. But the thing is, is that um, that virtual disk is only being used uh, by one operating system at the time, the, the single VM, okay? So if you needed to have uh, a, a virtual hard disk that could be accessed by multiple virtual machines, that's good where you're gonna be using a file share and that's what file store is. Or you could also just have users connect to it because it's using this NFS and SMB protocol. And these are ways where you could easily uh, mount the drive to your Windows computer or to a virtual machine, okay? Um, and so then last we have is, um, uh, cl uh, cloud storage, which is an object serverless storage. The idea here is that you can just upload files. You don't have to choose the size of the drive, the type of the drive. You don't have to worry about backing up the drive or the redundancy of the drive. It just works, right? And there's no concept of a drive. It's just, there's a bucket and you put everything in it. Uh, the only uh, drawback here, it's not intended for high IOPS. So input outputs, reads and writes. Like it's pretty darn fast, but the idea is that, you know, if you, uh, you know, it's not gonna be used as the primary drive of a, of a virtual machine, right? It's gonna be for accessing files, okay? So hopefully those three categories are clear.